Hey, welcome to Steve Davis Show. Special guest today is Richard Neely, AA BC president of Connie Mac World Series in Farmington, New Mexico. And it's good to have you on the show. It's uh, we've been working with you for three years, and uh, thanks for taking the time to come on and talk about one of the fourth largest events in the state of New Mexico. Hey, thanks, Steve. I appreciate it very much. Uh, first of all, let's start. When does this start? Uh, actually, the activities have already kind of kicked off. We start off with our annual banquet dinner next Monday night. Uh, teams arrive on Thursday of next week. Um, Friday morning, uh, Thursday, they arrive. There's a hamburger fry. They meet their foster parents. Uh, coaches are happy at that point. They get to turn kids over to someone else and enjoy themselves. And then Friday morning, coaches meeting, parade. And we start pool play that afternoon with two games at three facilities on Friday. Saturday, four games, three facilities. Then bracket play starts Sunday night and runs through the following Saturday. And, and that's, you know, basically Pro View is going to be streaming about uh, anywhere between, I, I think, 23 and 25 games. And uh, there will be, you know, that will be, be able to go to the website and, and look at how to how to get online and figure all that out and how how you can pay and and if you're not there you can be able to watch them on ProView. It's also going to be on Comcast Channel 26. Some of the games I think we've got a minimum of one game per day and I and, and I haven't finished with the final product with all of them yet, but uh, we're going to get as many games as we can uh, that week on Channel 26. So you're going to get statewide coverage you're going to have the internet and 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 then also you have cbs well what, what a great week absolutely looking forward to it uh, you know this event's been going on for almost 59 59 years of county mag you know i, I correct four years before uh farmington got it yeah four years before that was in springfield illinois and kind of an interesting story uh the year in 1964, Farmington held a regional tournament to qualifying to go to the World Series in Springfield. And the crowds and the gate was way larger than Springfield. So AABC all of a sudden invited Farmington to the annual meeting the following year. And there was a vote uh, to see whether or not to move the World Series. And it was a, a tie. And one of the gentlemen from Farmington who was representing, there were six guys that went up there reached in his pocket, grabbed a dollar bill, threw it on the table and said, we win. See you in Farmington. It's history. It's been here ever since. Well, I tell you, the, the economic impact that, that it brings to Farmington on the state of New Mexico, I, it, it's one of the top. Like I said, it's number four. And, and, and speak on that and what it does for the community of Farmington. Yeah, I mean, we are the fourth largest uh, continual event in New Mexico. Um we average right, just over a million dollars of direct economic impact to the city of Farmington and the county of San Juan. Um, so obviously it is the biggest event in Farmington. Uh, we're kind of like isolated here in the northwest corner, uh, but it's uh, world, now, world renowned. As I travel across the United States with uh, AABC and baseball, uh, it, hardly every time I travel through an airport, I'm stopped if I'm wearing a AABC or a Connie Mack shirt. Someone says, Farmington, New Mexico, been there, baseball, you know, it's just awesome. And uh, Farmington's known for the Connie Mack World Series, probably the best amateur tournament behind the College World Series in the United States. And I want to touch on one thing, but the Neely family, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's one of the greatest names in the state of New Mexico, but uh, you know, you know, talk about your brother real quick and, and, and talk about your, your football, though, all I remember is football. I, you know, I'm from Clovis, New Mexico, and all, all we heard about was the, how Farmington, you know, the Neelys took over in football. And and, and, <laughs> uh, and, and he had quite a, a dynasty when you all played. Well, there were there are four boys. I'm the baby in the runt of the family. Um, two oldest brothers uh, ended up playing basketball at UNM. Uh, Ralph, the number three son, of course, went to the University of Oklahoma and was a consensus All-American prior to his career with the Dallas Cowboys. Um, I followed and went to the University of Oklahoma uh, on football, but 
unfortunately, I flunked my physicals. I don't have very good knees and played a little baseball, very minimal. But yes, we are very, very proud to be uh, New Mexicans. I am a native New Mexican, in fact. Uh, parents had to move here for my oldest brother's asthma uh, from Ar Arkansas. And uh, you're right. We kind of started a tradition here in Farmington. And all four of us attended college on scholarships. All four of us played sports. Um, it's a great thing to be a part of. Well, I, I just want to let you know, I got to bring this in and get a little, little, little humor on this thing. But uh, I know why your brother made all American because he played against Marty Watts. Okay. So I just want to let you know, Marty Watts made him an all American. So I just wanted you to be aware of that. Boy, that's why he has such a shiny head. There we go. <laughs> but anyway, well, back to the Connie Mac. I mean, I, Something that's, you know, I, I think, you know, I, I got to know you over the last three or four years. And the thing that's impressive with this Connie Mack is talk about the community, the families, how the players come and stay with the family. I don't think there's any tournament ran like this in the, in the, in the United States. And correct me if I'm wrong with that. Well, there, there's uh, the Babe Ruth World Series has followed us and started their family uh, foster family program, but you're exactly correct. Um, the foster family programs, approximately 100 families each year, meet the kids when they arrive on the bus from Albuquerque. They immediately go to their home and they are adopted. And it's uh, it's been around since about 1975. And obviously we couldn't hold this World Series uh, for the cost and the things we do. I mean, reserve seats, you're still paying less than $2 a game to watch baseball. But if we had to put them in motels, it would be hundreds of thousands of dollars. And the foster parents cannot say enough about them. Um, go back over the years. I mean, many, we've had over 350 participants in the Connie Mack World Series that reached the major league level. And those all stayed in foster homes. And most of them still stay in contact with their foster parents which is awesome. I mean, I can tell you stories of a guy sending tickets, flying them into New York. He sent a limousine, picked them up, played the game, went out to eat, put them back on a plane, sent them home. I mean, stories like this continue. Uh, birth announcements, wedding announcements. Uh, uh, one of the number 19 draft pick just in the draft the other day uh, played here with the Enid Majors three years ago, uh, Carson Binge. And he's already got a video game out about him. So they, he sent it to his foster parents already. Well, it's also the number of pro players that you've got. I know Ken Griffey Jr. is one of the, you know, one of the biggest names. All I hear is, you know, in the legislative is that he's been a big impact on the state of New Mexico just with the people that he's met. And, and you just can't put a price tag or put a, put a deal of what how many great pro athletes have played here? Well, as I said, I think where the last count was 358 players played in the Connie Mack and Farmington reached the major league level. We don't track uh, minor league, small A, triple A, and so forth. There's too many. We can't. So we definitely have the largest number of participants that reach major league level of any amateur baseball organization. I'll tell you what, we're going to go to the Evergreen Top 10 Plays of the Week, and then we're going to come back and, and, and talk more Connie Mack World Series uh, and uh, all the good things that uh, you, you're doing up in Farmington. All right. Short break, coach. It doesn't break high. Ash cuts it that one. It's popped up towards left field. And that one is gone. JJ Utash. JJ Utash says, We're not done. Volcano. Traders definitely got the pitcher's attention at second. Gonna limit that lead for him there. That's hit right back up the box where it came from. It's through. The windmill's on. Here comes Schrader in to score the tying run. It's an RBI single for the big designated hitter, Jose Martinez. To
There goes Madrid in lane four. He's got Gomez in lane three right behind him. And check out lane eight. Here goes Jaren Johnson from Dulce. Down goes Madrid on the final hurdle. We're going to have to go to the tape. It looks like Johnson. Here comes a 3-2 pitch from Tatum Widener. Got him! Strikeout number eight of the day for Widener, and it ends the home half of the sixth. It's 8-3, Eagle. the chance and explore. Trek it up. Discover. Step on it. Tame waves. Cast a line. Connect. Go for it. Cool off. Plan your chance encounter with Farmington, New Mexico. Learn more at farmingtonnm.org. show we got rich neely double a bc connie mac world series farm from mexico president and been there correct 18 years almost as you know is that correct Something like that yeah <laughs> well i tell you that's that's very impressive so you've seen this thing this grow and grow it's more kind of like you know like i said we've talked about the neely family a lot and, and i know i'm passionate you know i'm from clovis that's why you and i seem to you know, hit it off pretty well because uh, uh, just small town boys. <laughs> of, of what New Mexico has done for you know, the state of New Mexico has done for us through athletics. Right. Uh, I tell you, let's let, let's recap this just a little bit. Uh, when does this when go through the events again? One real quick. Sure. Okay. The teams arrive uh, next Thursday. Okay. I think this is uh, a couple days after we're on the air. And the, they're greeted with a hamburger fry, and they meet their foster parents that day. Uh, it's Friday morning, coaches meeting, a parade down Main Street in Farmington, and then we start play that afternoon with two games uh, at three facilities. So there'll be six games uh, that Friday afternoon. Then Saturday, uh, there will be a total of 12 games played. And then we go into bracket play after seeding from the pool play on Sunday night. 
and with a double header and the tournament kicks off and runs through the following Saturday. And I want, and that is on that, ProView is going to cover all the games, uh, stream all the games uh, that are at Ricketts Field. So to, for anybody, and that's, and I want to say it's either 23 to 25 games for the week. ProView won't stream the CBS game that's exclusive for CBS. Is that correct? I'm correct on that part. Yes, that's correct. And, you know, one thing that I'm thrilled for ProView is because, I guess, fortunately, the Connie Mack World Series has been sold out for years. Um, tickets are passed down in wills and generations and so forth. And this is going to give a lot of people within the state and the country the ability to watch the game. So very thrilled about ProView. Well, in ProView, you know, we're going to be having Scott Galetti do the, the pregame, but then we got – now, I don't know if I, you know, and I finalized this, so I, I told you what I was trying to get accomplished, but I finally got it finalized. Ray Birmingham and and and, and Jeff Simbiato are going to come up, uh, you know, and, and, and do the finals. But uh, Ray decided he, he's going to come up on Thursday and he's going to do a couple of games. He want, He's he's all excited to go in and, and start uh, uh, getting to the coaches and, and interview it. But uh, on Friday night, we're going to have basically Scott Gleddy as a sideline reporter. So uh, we're, we're going to make this uh, a, a great uh, product uh, for the state of Farmington. I mean, excuse me, the city of Farmington and the state of New Mexico and and, and put it, have a great show for the, the national level. That's great. You know, it's, uh, it's a great partnership that we put together. I mean, with ProView and the AABC and the Connie Mack World Series and very, very, very excited that we got New Mexico tourism involved this year and a major funder for our TV coverage. Um, so obviously it'll keep this event going, get it out to a lot more people across the country. Be great for New Mexico, great for Farmington. And uh, just look forward to this thing kicking off because the last couple of years, if you like baseball, you couldn't have asked for better games. One was one in the bottom of the seventh championship. And then last year it was in the bottom of the ninth. Uh, with a walk-off. So, uh, fabulous one-run baseball championship games, and you, it's great for the fans, great for everybody. Well, and, and, and what I like about this, it's, you know, because of, you know, our backgrounds and everything, is it's going to be done with New Mexico people. That, that's that's even, I, that's even great with, you know, you can't beat Ray Birmingham. Ray, Ray Birmingham is, you know, well known in, in the college circles, but he's also well known in the pro circles. So the kids are going to get a really a, a great professional. And then with Jeff Simbiata, you know, he's the broadcaster of the year for the state of New Mexico for four years straight. And then uh, Scott Galetti, he he got a just award just uh, almost two weeks ago for being one of the top broadcasters in the state. I know he's going to beat me up. But I don't know exactly what that award <laughs> was. But, uh, it's a great honor that uh, we've got uh, great announcers that uh, represent the state of New Mexico with a lot of pride. And, and exactly. In fact, uh, I'm on the board of directors of USA Baseball. And of course, Ray's a former coach for USA Baseball. So it's always good, good to get a couple New Mexicans involved with national baseball. Well, I tell you what, he's already excited, and, and he's just, you know, when I, I just talked to him, he's been out of town, I just talked to him on Monday, and he uh, he goes, well, I said, well, you know, there's, you know, some semifinal games probably on, on Friday, and he goes, Steve, really, I want to come up a day early, I said, I want to, you know, hang out with the coaches and the players and, you know, go in, and that, that just, you know, here's a guy that doesn't have to do that, he just wanted to you know, be part of what the Connie, he's never been really a, you know, a, a big part of the Connie Mack and he just wants to give back in, in that, that deal. you got to be proud of that. Uh, very much so. In fact, um, well, when Ray took over at UNM, uh, he immediately came to the Connie Mack World Series. And I remember talking with him and he goes, why are we missing all these kids in New Mexico? And it was real simple. I said, Ray, you're the first coach that's been here in like 15 years. So welcome. <laughs> and, and I tell you, you know, you, you speak on that behalf, okay? It, it, 
it's amazing how it's the one of the biggest kept secret. It's not a secret, getting a secret anymore. Over the last three years, we've done a great job of promoting it. But how how many a lot of people don't realize one how big the tournament is, and you know I want to get to another point after after I speak on this, but uh, is the teams that come in and speak on that behalf right now on, on the team. Sure. This this is a a major tournament that people look forward to to play in. You know, uh, and a key thing about it, first of all, throughout the week, we'll run just under 100,000 people through the stands. And I talk to college coaches uh, throughout the year, and a lot of their recruits and their commitments are here going to be playing. And the first thing they always tell me is, you know, it's great to have a high school kid that's played in front of 100, 200 people, maybe 1,000 people to state tournament. But he says, I get to see him play in an environment where there's six to 8,000 screaming fans. And, you know, it uh, puts a little pressure on them, and I want to see how they can react. And this is from some top D1 colleges across the country. They want their kids playing in the Connie Mack World Series. Well, let, let, let's speak on one thing, you know, is you have a local team, so you get a local environment. Okay, speak on that. And then if I'm correct, then there's a – uh, and I could be wrong. I don't want to say this, but there's other teams in the state that maybe have qualified to be in the tournament. Yeah. Well, we have, obviously we have a host team each year, which is made up of local participants here in Farmington with the, they have, they'll have a half a dozen import players that play with them. Then there are 11 other teams that have qualified. Uh, unfortunately this year, ABA Albuquerque baseball Academy made a run at two different events and, uh, finished in the top four in both of them, but couldn't quite get to that championship game. Um, the unique thing about this is everybody looks at me like this year, we have six teams from Texas and they say, why so many? And I said, well, they go play in our events. You got to qualify. You got to win to get here and they do it. And there's just a heck of a lot of baseball players in Texas. Uh, you know, New Mexico, a couple million people. I mean, my gosh, that's just one little town in Texas. So that's why they have so many players. But the teams coming in this year, I mean, uh, it's been very, very rewarding so far talking to a lot of the coaches because they've been, some of them been working four and five years trying to get to Farmington in the Connie Mack World Series. Um, a team coming in from northern Louisiana, uh, that gentleman has been working four years, I know, trying to get here. And they're in their dog pile when they won. I think the coach was the guy up in the highest to anyone. He was so excited, which – Makes for a fabulous baseball tournament. Well, I tell you, this thing doesn't happen when we talk about the community, but uh, it also takes economic dollars. And I think for the first time, uh, the state and, and the city of Farmington has always seen how valuable it is to it. But it's uh, a lot of people that you need to thank that, are, that have stepped up big time for, the, for this year. Obviously, I mean, obviously the city of Farmington every year is um, a tremendous partner and very excited this year. We've got New Mexico tourism involved the, for a really, really significant amount this year. They will be one of our primary sponsors, and uh, I think it's going to happen for years to come. We're looking at another long-term contract. Fortunately, the legislative uh, realized how important the Connie Mack World Series is. Million-dollar impact into Farmington. I don't know telling what it does for the state because it's probably some great advertising for everyone. And it's just great to have a partnership like this with the state and the city and the double ABC. Well, and it does, I, you know, I, and I got to thank a lot of people myself, you know, you, you, you got the Marriott courtyard hotel, you know, they're helping, helping us, you know, with, you know, our crews like 10 or 11 people per day. And they're helping us out, uh, you know, the barbecue they're there i mean i'll speak on those people those little things just make this thing such a great tournament uh exactly i mean uh, we were having lunch like not long ago at the barbecue place talking with the owner and said well we'd really like to work with you and give you some advertising and see if we can get some discounts on food she goes no discounts i'll provide it this is farmington and she's called me about three times since and wanting to verify exactly how much she needs to do. And I said, well, I want to make sure and pay you some. She said, we'll worry about that. That's Farmington. That's the state of New Mexico. Everybody wants to get involved. I mean, the hotels, um, you know, it is the largest event in Farmington each year. Um, the hotels are packed. The restaurants are for packed. 
Um, the kids are excited. They're walking the streets. They're doing, you know, events at the gyms and all kinds of things. And it's just a, it's got an atmosphere that's a great all American atmosphere for Farmington. And, and I tell you, another one that's really stepped up is Pepsi. I mean, speak on. Oh my! <laughs> it's amazing what they have done, and, and basically, it started almost like three years. I mean, they've always helped, but over the last three years, it's oh big yeah, on that. yeah. On the last three years, Jim, the the area manager for Pepsi here, he can't do enough. I mean, he pulls the semi trailers in front of the park. Make sure that every player arriving gets a case of water and a case of Gatorade. Obviously, we're higher than Denver, so we got an altitude issue. He wants to make sure and keep these kids hydrated. He takes care of all the press, all the TV crews, all the uh, press box people, and it's all donated by Pepsi. Um, last year, he told me it was a little under eighteen thousand dollars retail of product they donated for this event. I tell you, one thing I've learned: hey. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, hot and rainy. Okay, I mean it, it, it can be, it can be ninety-five to hundred degrees, and then it can drop down to sixty-five degrees, and then right back up to hundred degrees, all in a matter of a couple, two or three hours. Uh, so true. But we don't want to mention that word rain because it's uh, Connie Mac World Series. Farmington knows. Hey, that's the rain season. When it's going to start? When Connie Mac starts, we have rain. Forecast so far looks very, very good, but it's New Mexico. We know that can change in 15 minutes. And you're right, temperatures, uh, 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 coaches are always saying, man, it's hot. It's hot. It's in the 90s. And I go, yeah, just wait. Give us about four hours, get to 5, 6 o'clock, we'll be at 60 degrees. And they don't believe it, especially those coming from Texas and Oklahoma and places like that where they only get about a 10-degree difference in night and day. And here we'll get 30 to 40 degrees. It's wonderful weather for baseball. I, is there anybody else we need to thank or we got like about 45 seconds left? Sure. I, again, reaching out to our, our, our teams. I mean, we've created a great team, ProView Network, CBS Sports, the city of Farmington, the state of New Mexico. Um, AABC is so proud to have all of you as partners. And, you know, we're going to have a great tournament and let's play baseball. Well, I tell you, we're we're excited. Like I said, we're actually going to come up. You know, says we're coming up a day early just to make sure that uh, we you know this is not just uh, CBS. We we're bringing this back to Albuquerque, and it's going to be on the internet uh, in Albuquerque. So uh, to Comcast Channel Twenty Six for those people that. Uh, have that available they can watch these games uh at least one or two of these games per day uh, during the whole week and and uh, cbs will be aired saturday night august 3rd is that correct at eight o'clock that's correct eight o'clock i tell you what uh, richard hey thanks for coming on the steve davis show i can't wait to see you this week and uh let, let's have a good next two weeks we got it thanks steve appreciate it very much